Hi guys, welcome to math six, lesson seven dash two, solve triangle area problems. Last time we looked at the area of parallelograms. Today, let's look at area of triangles. So in this lesson, we'll be able to find areas of triangles. Let's look at solve and discuss it. Connect point A to B, B to C, C to D, and D to A. Then draw a diagonal line connecting opposite vertices in the figure and find the area of each triangle they formed. Okay, so just like how we started last lesson, we're going to connect the points here and explore the area. So that's point A and B. Okay, connect A and B, and then B to C. And C to D. And D to A. Okay, and then we're going to draw a diagonal line connecting opposite vertices. They didn't they didn't say they didn't specify which diagonal line so why don't we connect a and c there so now we have two triangles and let's try to figure out the area of these two triangles first of all what do you know about the area of the triangle? Well, some of you know that it's half of base times height. Some of you don't know. So let's start with the area of the parallelogram. Okay, area of the parallelogram was what? Base times height of parallelogram. Okay, so base is going to be how many units? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Eighteen units is the base. And then the height is going to be the height from B perpendicular to AD or C perpendicular to the line extension of AD. Okay. So I'm going to draw a perpendicular line over here, and I'm gonna count that. Two, four, three, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So that's 12 units height. So area perpendicular, um, area of the parallelogram is 18 times 12, which is 216 square units. And then the area of the triangle is going to be one half of that, right? One half base times height, which is 216 divided by two. So that's 108 square units. Okay. And so if you look at this, the height of the parallelogram is the same as the height of the triangle because a triangle has the opposite um, basis. And then in order to find the height, you need to find the perpendicular line up until the opposite vertex, vertex right? So then these two triangles are equal, they're identical. And so the area of both of them would be the same, 108 units, okay? Okay. 
So what, what relationships do you see between the area of the parallelogram and the areas of the triangles? Okay. Um, you can say triangle ABC is identical to triangle ADC and the area of each is half the area of the parallelogram. So the area of the parallelogram is 18 times L, which is equal to 216 square units. Area of the triangle is one half times 216 equal to 108 square units. All right, so focus on math practices. What is the rule for finding the area of any triangle? What is the rule? What is the equation? You multiply the base by the height and then multiply that product by one half. Okay, that's the rule for finding the area of any triangle. Now that we've established that, let's move on to example one on the next page. So essential question, how can you find the area of a triangle? Is a question that we're gonna answer throughout this lesson. Example one, find the area of this triangle. A parallelogram can be decomposed into two identical triangles. So it can be separated into two um, equal triangles. How can you use the formula for the area of a parallelogram to find the area of a triangle? So area of the par parallelogram is based on its height. And so if the triangles are, are equal and the parallelogram is divided equally into two equal parts, then you just have to divide this by half, right? So area of the triangle is one half times base times height. Let's look at try it. Using that rule, can you figure out the triangle of this blue shaded triangle? Okay, base is 12, height is five. So fill in the base, 12, height is five, and do the calculation. What's 12 times five? 60, what's 60 divided by two? 30, so the area of the triangle is 30 square centimeters. Good. Convince me. Two identical triangles form a parallelogram with a base of eight inches and a height of six inches. Okay, base of a height of six. What is the area of each triangle? Explain. Okay, what's eight times six? 48 divided by two is 24. So let's write that down. Each triangle has half the area of the parallelogram. So the area is one half times eight times six, which is Four inches, cubic inches. Yeah. Okay, example two on the next page. Finding the area of a right triangle. Okay, you have a right triangle here where you have one angle that's perpendicular, 90 degrees. The side of a birdhouse is in the shape of a right triangle. What is the area of the side of the birdhouse? So we want to figure out the area for this one. If you have a right triangle like this, okay, it doesn't always, right triangles don't always have equal uh, length of base and height, but in this case it does. So we have base, which is equal to eight inches and height, which is equal to eight inches. So just plug that in, eight times eight, 64 divided by two is 32. So the area of the side of the birdhouse is 32 square inches. 
Okay. Example three, identify the corresponding base and height to find the area. Kaylin drew the triangle shown below. What is the area of the triangle? Okay, which one is a base and which one is a height? Hmm. Any side of a triangle can be its base. Did you know that? Uh, the height, though, has to be the perpendicular distance from the base to the height of the opposite vertex. So if you chose this, this side to be the base, 16 feet, that means your height is five feet, okay? If you chose this side, the 10 feet to be the base, then your height must be eight feet. Okay, so you have two ways to solve this problem. 10 times eight divided by two, or 16 times five divided by two, you're gonna get the same answer. The area is 40 feet square, if we're talking about um, an actual triangle, okay? So let's look at try question over here, part A and B. See if you can find the area of these two triangles and come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? So again, your area of the triangle is one half times base times height, right? So you multiply base times height, nine times six, 54 divided by two is 27 centimeters. Uh, wait, square, we're not talking about area, okay. And then part B, which one are you gonna use as a base? Okay, if you use 12 as a base, your height is three. If you use nine as a base, your height is four, okay? So either nine times four divided by two, or 12 times three divided by two works. They're both gonna equal 18 meters square. Okay, that was lesson two, solving triangle area problems. Let's summarize our lesson. You can use the formula area equals one half VH to find the area of, of any triangle. Okay, acute triangle when all the angles are less than 90 degrees, it still works. Right triangle, it works. Obtuse triangle, it works. But your height might look a little bit different. Your height in an acute triangle is inside the triangle. For your, um, for your right triangle, your height is one of your side of your triangle. Um, for obtuse triangle, your height is outside the triangle sometimes. Okay, not always. If you take this as a base, your height is this one perpendicular. Okay, but sometimes there's, there, there are gonna be height that's gonna be outside the triangle um, in obtuse triangles. All right, that was lesson two, solve triangle area problems. We'll continue with lesson three, uh, finding areas of trapezoids and kites in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, please ask Ms. King in class. Bye.